Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I decided to do a test review demo on the new Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation and the concealer as well. I picked both of these up and I decided to put them both on my face and pretty much just review it for you guys. I did little check-ins during the day. I showed you the way the foundation and the concealer looks in sunlight and I did a 12 hour test so we really really put this to the test and then I gave you guys my review. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to join my squad and make sure you hit that notification bell because you know YouTube is playing us and it's awesome. Not. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to see my full-on 12-hour test review on this foundation and concealer, then please just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so like I said in the intro, we're going to be testing out the new Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation as well as the concealer. Um, I'm gonna apply it on my face, tell you guys my first impressions, do the rest of my makeup, and I'm also gonna do a wear test and do some check-ins throughout the day. So I really hope that you guys appreciate that, and yeah, let's just get started. Don't look at my pimple, okay? Stop looking at it. So, I know it's not like extra, extra new, but it's fairly new, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna review it, because I haven't seen that many reviews about it. Actually, I haven't seen any reviews, but I haven't seen other people post reviews about it. So, it is gonna be like my first impression. Um, I guess I'll, let's just start out with the foundation. The packaging is absolutely stunning. It is in a glass bottle, like a hard glass bottle, and it has the cap, and then it also has a pump. God bless this pump. So I got the shade, let's see, I got the shade Tawny M4. Um, I think it might be a little light for me, but we'll make it work. The only reason why I got it is because the next shade was really peachy, and I really wanted this yellow undertone. On Ulta, it has uh, four stars, and it retails for $13.99 on Ulta. And it says, Flower Beauty's Light Illusion Liquid Foundation is perfecting veil of buildable coverage. So it's supposed to be buildable. Light Illusion is a breakthrough foundation that achieves the impossible. It provides you with the coverage you desire to smooth and perfect while imparting your skin with the most flattering soft luminosity imaginable. It's supposed to be weightless, nude skin feel, imperfections and uneven skin tone will be diminished, only flawless, smooth, incredible, natural complexion revealed. It, I don't think it says how long it's supposed to last. It doesn't say that, so we'll just give it like a good wear test, and then it says it's SPF 18, and it's an all-day wear, so. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, I'm going to put on a primer that I know and love, and it's the uh, Becca First Light Priming Filter. I have a sample size because if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you probably saw my story that when I got to the Cayman Islands, like, my big bottle of this primer just, like, completely was shattered, and it was all over my makeup bag, and Wyatt's sister came through, and whenever she met up with us in the Cayman Islands, she, like, brought me this um, travel size one, so... You're the real MVP, Allison. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do one side with a sponge and one side with a little kabuki brush and then we can just see what the deal is. So let me just zoom you guys in and let's get started. So my skin's not horrible, it's not the best. I do have this big ass pimple right here. I do have like a little bit of sunburn. And here, let me turn on the light a little bit so you guys can see. See like my little imperfections. So yeah, I guess let's just start with I think I'm gonna do like two pumps on each side. I don't know. I'm gonna start out with a brush. I'm gonna be using this Delium Tools little, um, it doesn't have a name. Okay, it's just the 968. It's just like a little buffing brush. So let's start. I really hope this shade doesn't look horrible, but if it does, we'll make it work. It's so hard shopping for makeup when you have a tan because that tan's gonna fade and you're like, just kind of wasting your money, but I feel like this might be an okay shade. We'll just blend it down. So it's definitely very luminous. Um, let me finish this side and then we can see how it looks. Okay, so I turned on my light so you guys could see. Here is one layer of it on and here is without. Um, it's very, very luminous, like very luminous and it's looking really, really dewy, so I'm definitely going to have to set this foundation because this is like really luminous. It's definitely a medium coverage, 
Um, it's not bad. It looks it looks really pretty on the skin, but I do have to set it. It looks kind of greasy, not gonna lie. So let me just do the other side with a sponge and then we'll see if we have to build it up or not. Y'all see how glowy this foundation is? I mean, I know it's called the Light Illusion, so I just, I feel like it looks a little greasy. Um, obviously, I'm going to set it and we'll see how that goes, but I just, I don't know, I've never looked greasy because I have such dry skin. Looks good either way. Um, I'm more of a sponge person, but it looks good. Like I said, it's a medium coverage, so I'm going to put some more around my chin area and um, see if it's buildable. But I definitely have to say that I don't have, I mean, I don't have that much texture. I've never really noticed it. But with this foundation, I can see, like, every single bump, like, on my face. And I'm not used to that. So, um, so let me just build this up and let's see how it builds. So I'm going to put, like, half a pump more. And it is a little buildable, but I don't think you're going to get, like, the fullest coverage. I don't think this is going to build to like a full full coverage. Maybe like a a really hard medium. Do y'all remember these? <gasps> you guys remember these? <sighs> look at my roots. Don't look at my roots. Do y'all remember these? If you've been watching me for a while, say welcome back to the cat ears. Okay, so now we're going to go um, with the concealer. It was kind of weird because I got the shade light in the concealer. And I have such like a dark foundation. And the only reason why I did that was because all the other shades look really dark. Like I was like comparing like both bottles and the shade light medium looked like darker than the foundation. Which kind of tripped me out. So I hope this isn't too light. But um, that's just what I got. So this is supposed to be a full coverage concealer. Weightless feel. Crease proof. It's a soft focus blurring concealer with a high performance coverage. The weightless formula instantly diminishes the appearance of imperfections, fine lines, and the signs of fatigue or a flawless, luminous look. So it's supposed to be full coverage concealer. So we'll see about that. Packaging is really nice. This is a plastic bottle. This kind of reminds me of like the NYX lip lingerie um, applicator. By the way, um, the foundation comes with one fluid ounce, which is very standard, and then this comes with 0 .20, 0 .2 fluid ounces. Okay, this is really freaking light. That's so weird. Like, it doesn't look that light in the bottle. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Okay, so the applicator is holding on to a lot of product, and I love that. I hate concealers that you have to go back and forth, back and forth. Like, that's a really good amount of concealer. It's going on really nice, really creamy. Not too thick, not too thin. I really hope it doesn't dry fast because I'm going to do, like, everything right now. I'm just going to highlight with it. Okay. Wow, this is looking really nice. Even though it's a little light for me, it's blending out so seamlessly that I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it. Okay, so we are blended out, and I'm actually really, really impressed. This uh, concealer is the first one in a while that actually impresses me. Um, is it as full coverage as like Tarte Shape Tape? I feel like that's like the new standard. No, but if you don't like to cake on the makeup, like just to like a regular person that wears regular makeup, this is full coverage. I'm gonna see if I can build it up just a little bit, just for us out there that like to cake it on. But guys, this is blending out so nice. It didn't dry it like too fast. It's like, it blended out so, so nice. I don't even think I need to put more, but let's just see. Okay, yes, it's definitely buildable. Like, this is buildable. Wow, this is really nice. Um, I'm going to set it with my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder that you guys know I love. It works out with everything. So let me do that, and then let me come back, and we can see how the face looks. Okay, so my face is set. Um, what I noticed is that it kind of broke up a little bit just in the inner corner. Just a little bit. It's not that noticeable. I'm kind of just nitpicking at it. Um, I did set the rest of the foundation as well just because it was very greasy looking but what I do like is that even though I set it it's still a little bit luminous this is what the skin looks like I don't know if you guys can see but I feel like I feel like it's really emphasizing a lot of texture on my face and I 
usually don't have that much of a problem with. So, I don't know. It looks a little cakey. I'm definitely more... Um, I'm definitely more impressed with the concealer right now more than the foundation. Okay, so I have the rest of my makeup. Um, I just use products that I know that I love and I also set my foundation like my whole face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray which is my favorite. Um, I actually, I like it more now that I did the rest of my makeup but it's, I don't know, it's just, I don't want to like make assumptions but I feel like this is not going to be good if you have oily skin just because I, I don't know, it just looks kind of oily. And it looks just a little cakey. It doesn't look horrible. But I wanted to go ahead and do a flash test to see if the foundation or the concealer flashback. Because I know that there is 18 SPF in the foundation. So let's just do that first. Looks pretty good. It, ha it doesn't have any flashback at all. So it looks really, looks good on pictures. Okay guys, so it is currently... 10 o'clock. Um, let's just do like a 12 hour test so we can do a couple check-ins and then our last check-in at 10 p.m. And let's just see how this foundation works. Okay guys, so it is currently, what time is it? What time is it? It is 4.05. So I started the check-in, like the first check-in was at 10 right when I, you know, finished my makeup and it was, so it was 10, now it's 4, so that's six hours so this is a six hour check-in and i don't know guys i don't know if i'm liking this foundation it is creasing really bad look at that on my smile lines like that's like that's my one thing like usually like a lot of foundations crease on me but like I'll, i've found some that haven't which the main one was the tart shape tip foundation the hydrating one that one doesn't crease on me which is why i love it and then um other than that, I don't even know if I haven't even found another one. But this one's creasing pretty bad. Um, so, I don't know. It's I'm not getting the best impression from it. I do feel, I feel super cakey. So, I'm going to wait a couple hours and check in with you guys. The concealer, though, I'm really liking. I'm going to try it out with a different foundation because I feel like I'm really going to like it with something else. <sighs> Alright, guys. So, I am back to check in with you guys. I think it's so funny when you watch these videos at whenever like someone reviews a foundation because when they come back at the end of the night you can just tell like they've had a long day and you're just like hey I'm back uh, but I'm back it is currently it is 9 45 so I mean it's like a 12 hour um I applied it at 10 o'clock I probably applied it like at 10 45 if you really think about it I mean 9 45 9 45 point is it's been roughly 12 hours and I have my final thoughts um Honestly, it it like stayed on pretty well. Like as you guys can see, like I have most of my foundation on, but um I'm just not I'm not impressed. Let me turn down my light and zoom you guys in and show you guys. Okay. So, we were really up close and personal. Like I don't even feel comfortable doing this, but like first of all, don't look at this pimple. I've been picking at it. But look at my smile lines. I just don't think that this foundation does my skin any justice. I know it doesn't look absolutely horrible, but for like my standard, the way foundations usually look on me, I'm just not, I, I just don't really like the way it looks, to be honest. So yeah, I it just, it's kind of breaking apart, and to be honest, it kind of started breaking apart as soon as I said it. I feel like it's one of those foundations that is just so like greasy looking that when you set it, it kind of feels like, I don't know, like when I was baking my, my smile lines with my banana powder, the banana powder almost turned orange as if like if it got wet, you know? I feel like the foundation was just so like greasy that it like, I don't know. And I have dry skin, so I definitely don't recommend this if you have oily skin. Like I didn't get oily just because I just don't, but I didn't like the texture. It looks kind of like half powder, half foundation on my face right now. It is not looking cute. Like if I came home looking like this, I would not be happy. So yeah, I don't really recommend it. I don't think it's horrible. Do I think you should go buy it? Nope, absolutely not. Um, the concealer though, I actually really like the concealer. I feel like I liked it on, I liked it more as soon as I first put it on. I knew like I was gonna like it and then I kind of set it and they got a little weird. But I, I think it's the foundation under it because I definitely put some foundation right here and I feel like it just, I feel like it's a foundation. So I really do think I like this concealer. Um, 
I'm posting this video in a couple days, so I'm gonna try this concealer for the next couple days with like other foundations that I know I love. So definitely check back in the description box down below and I'll let you guys know if this concealer performed better with other foundations and if I do, um, in fact, recommend it to you guys. Alrighty guys, and that was the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys like this style of video where I do check-ins. Um, I see that um, Casey Holmes does that and I think it's kind of cool because it gives you more of like I know it's like only a first impression, but it's like a better first impression. It's more of a review almost. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know if you do like this type of video. And of course, I will keep doing them. And yeah, guys, I really hope you guys are having an awesome day or night, wherever you are. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you all very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.